What do you need to uh, ask supplemental to help the people in the Southeast, Mr. President? Say again? Well, you need to ask Congress for a supplemental. That's my, my expectation, yes. Do you know roughly how much you're thinking? Not yet. Time? It's been this historic storm. It's devastating. They've never seen anything like this before. And some of them are back to back, three storms in a row. So it's really, really devastating. Would you have a asking Congress to come back for a special session to ask a supplemental? That is something I may have to request, but no decision has been made yet. Do you have a sense of where you'll go when you are able to go, sir? Yes, I told the governor of, of uh, North Carolina I'd go down, and, I, and I'm, I expect to be down there by Wednesday or Thursday. It would be clear for me to go. You guys have traveled with me. You know, there's an entourage. It's uh, uh, this can be disruptive. Is there a mistake for, for President Trump to be down there today in Georgia? Is that disruptive? I I don't have any idea. On another issue uh, on the other side of the world in the Middle East, uh, it's our understanding. I'm going to stick with this. What's that? I'm going to stick with this subject, but go ahead. I've, I've well, it's just the fact that Israel may be now launching a limited <clears throat> operation into Lebanon. Are you aware of that? Are you comfortable with their plan? I'm more aware than you might know, and I'm comfortable with them stopping. We should have a ceasefire now. Thank you. Do you expect Iran to retaliate? On the hurricane, Mr. President, why weren't you and Vice President Harris here in Washington commanding this this weekend? I was commanding. I was on the phone for at least two hours yesterday and the day before as well. I command, call a telephone, is it, all my security people. Is it not important for the country to see 